Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Got a fun one today. Um, I'm gonna be doing a little test around the Olay i3T again. Done a lot of tests with this light, in fact, this particular one, using lithium rechargeable cells called 10440s. These are not AAA batteries. They're a different type of battery with a much higher voltage that are not recommended to be used in the i3T. The i3T is not designed to use these batteries, but a lot of people use them, including myself, because you get a crazy boost in output performance with them. So what I want to do in this video is see if the Olay i3T in the titanium material is able to handle these 10440s just as well as the aluminum one can in my past experience. And if you're interested in any tests about, you know, output, runtime, and heat, um, I've done a bunch of those tests with this brown i3T. So if you want to check any of those out, um, please do. But in this video, we're going to be running both of these lights on their highest output with brand new PK cell 10440s, fully charged, about as spicy as I can get the batteries. Um, we're going to see if the lens will melt or the LED will burn out in this titanium version. The reason why I'm doing this test is because the difference in material between titanium and aluminum means that those metals, they handle heat differently. They dissipate heat differently. Um, aluminum dissipates heat more so. But what I'm showing you now is the difference in output between the two lights. They both have the 10440s in them right now on their low setting. And as you can see, the aluminum one is brighter. And here we're kicking them onto the high setting. And same as the low mode output, the high mode output is brighter with the aluminum version. For whatever reason, the older i3Ts that OLED used to make, they're not um, regulated or capped. So the output is more impressive. However, that does come at the expense of excess heat that's generated, which we will see in this test. The lights do get very hot. So yeah, that's just what we're going to do next here. I'm going to start this clock just to give you an idea of how much time has passed. Um, I will be jumping a, a few minutes ahead here and there during this test just to kind of save you time. But uh, if you want to see like a real time, you know, heat test, I've got that on the channel as well. So yeah, these are both on their high setting right now, and we're going to see just how hot these lights get. And, um, you know, I'm not going to say whether or not they're safe. I mean, you're going to have to use your own judgment and wisdom in this. Uh, these are not recommended. These, using 10 for 40 is not recommended in the i3T, so you've got to use your own judgment. Room temperature, just for reference, um, I'm going to point this thermometer at the wall, um, is about 83 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is pretty warm in this room. In the past, uh, room temperature has been in the low 70s, but it's the summer now and the house is quite warm. So that's just a, a little bit of reference for you. The higher your ambient temperature, the All higher right, temperatures so you will reach with the lights. In. It's, in my experience. been about two minutes. I uh, just jumped ahead a bit and we're about three minutes into the test total. Getting kind of a mid 90s degrees Fahrenheit for the titanium model on the left. And uh, yeah, that you're going to see a difference here in the heat almost immediately. As you can see, it jumps way up to about 120, the high, the upper 120s degrees Fahrenheit for the aluminum version already in this amount of time. So that is a, a big jump. Um, once again, this is the older type of i3T um, before they seem to have changed something about them to kind of cap the output and therefore the heat so yeah some people they like the older versions because you can get that crazy output um, and some people like the newer ones because they're a bit safer um, if used with 10 440s um, personally I still like the old version just because I can drop in whatever type of battery with lower voltage to get the type of output I'm looking for and heat um, and I just have one more option to do the crazy crazy output if I want. But I, I definitely understand why Olight has changed the i3T just for safety's sake because I think they know people are using 10440s in these models. Um, yeah so yeah as you can see we're getting some temps here jumping ahead a little bit more. At a certain point in time the voltage of the batteries begins to drop as the uh, capacity is used up and once the voltage starts to drop the heat generated also starts to taper off. So it's really the first kind of the first half of you know using the light I'd say that you get those crazy hot temperatures and then after that um, they start to go down a bit but 
Yeah, as you can see, uh, the aluminum model is getting very, very hot. Um, I would not want that in my hand, uh, personally. So yeah, I hope this test was helpful. I am not a scientist and I don't do exact science here, but I just hope that you got a little look into the types of temperatures that you can reach and the differences. The one thing, speaking of not being a perfect science, we have more than one variable here because uh, not only is there a difference in material, but there might also be a difference in kind of circuitry or some kind of internal regulation between these two lights because of the brown aluminum version is much older by a few years than the newer i3Ts that have been coming out lately that seem to not be able to reach the levels of output as the old ones, yet they are much safer in terms of temperature. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this difference in temperature that we're seeing in this video due primarily to the, the newer iterations of i3T that OIT's been making, or is it the material or a little bit of both? Um, I don't know for sure myself, but yeah, on screen here, there are top temperatures that I reached in this test. Once again, room temperatures in the low 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if you do the same sort of thing in a cooler temperature, in my experience, the temperatures reached will be lower. And if you do it in a higher, higher temperature environment, um, you'll expect higher temperatures overall. But yeah, um, let me know if you, let me know your thoughts on this. And if you have any questions, I'll try to get them answered. And I also have other videos regarding heat and output and runtime. If you're new to the channel and want to check those out, um, the i3T is my favorite for a lot of reasons, uh, mainly the size and the type of output you can get from that size. I just think it's great. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of videos more than any other light on this channel for sure. Um, it's what got me into YouTube and still really like it. So um, yeah, happy to report that there doesn't seem to be any preliminary issues running 10 for 40s in the new titanium i3Ts. They handle pretty well. Um, once again, this test doesn't test, you know, what this will do over a long amount of time, you know, for weeks and months and years of running 10 for 40s in the light, but at least we can see there's no preliminary issue with the LED burning out or the lens or melting or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. God bless you and take care. I will see you in the next video. Adios.